Excuse me. Do you know Robert Price? Not yet. I would prefer not to, but I just got a few questions to ask. I'll talk to cops. It's your lucky day, cuz. I'm not a cop. It's definitely gonna be a bad day. It could have been much easier if you had just answered my questions. Now, what can you tell me about Robert Price? Man, Robert just coming here to get you. See how easy that was? You could have avoided this ass whooping. Now clean yourself up. You're making dumb asses look bad. Who done hauled off and whooped your ass? Come here. Captain Graham, my name is Agent Brandon Garrett. Here to work as a safe haven department FBI liaison. You're late. You're supposed to be here an hour ago. Unfortunately, that couldn't have been avoided. My flight ain't got delayed. Agent Garrett, I really don't see a reason for you to be here. Well, let me enlighten you. Within the last two years, the murder rate has increased by 30% in this city. You yourself were almost after that very statistic. Not to mention your last police captain was about as crooked as a broken neck. My reason for being here is not just to help as a highly respected profiler, but to also make sure you actually catch the bad guys instead of being the bad guys. I like them already. Shut the hell up, Lance. <laughs> Look, I really don't want Big Brother breathing down our necks. So if you're going to be here, you're going to need to pull your own weight. I already did. Your suspect is female, possibly suffering from PTSD, and is familiar with her victims. How do you know that already? I called ahead and had Lance forward me to case files. Figure I'd bring myself up to speed on my flight. You're welcome. Shut up, Lance. So, now that we're done playing the intimidation game, where's the rest of the team? Are you serious? My niece hasn't been associated with that club in quite some time. I understand that, but she might have some information that can help us with our case. I don't see how. Looks like you're bringing work home again, honey. Don't worry. They just have a couple questions for Kenya. Well, it looks like I made it home just in time. Why so? Well, you see, um, Kenya's at a very sensitive time in her recovery. Uh, her whole world is crumbling around her, and anything you guys say to her can send her into remission. Well, I assure you, we'll be tactful. Kenya, sweetheart, can you come here, please?
What's going on? Hey, Kenya. Um, when was the last time you heard or seen Jeffrey Banks? <clears throat> I haven't seen from him since I uh, stopped working at the club. Are you sure? We heard you may have seen him a couple weeks ago at his store. We just need to find him. He may have some information that can help us. I, um, uh, I can't, I can't help you. I'm not, I'm not feeling too good. That's my girl. I have one more question. Who keeps finding you? Oh, okay, Detective, that's enough for the day. Thank you, Kenya. Thank you. Um, if you hear from Mr. Banks, give us a call. Good day, detectives. Thank you, too. I believe that. Go ahead and go lie down, honey. I gotta head back to the station. You know what? Something is just not right about her. With that family history, I'm not surprised.